so we have this saying back home uh, where i come from bulgaria that is we have the saying um the fruit doesn't fall farther than the tree and in interpreted it means um that you know with humans it's like the like father like son like mother like daughter like it's like that um so with that said oh um yeah okay i'm gonna try to open this thing first with one of my hands okay i'll try with both of my hands actually first um so with that said what is that? it's sunday um yesterday and um, we are at church and we finished and um there's um my kid's grandfather um at the hallways um at a table where there are the manuals for the next year um so next year for sunday school we're gonna study the new testament because this year it was the old testament and so mickey mouse great and so um as we were about to leave my father-in-law comes and he's like oh, no comes just calls calls me like hey so there's the um, you know the manual do you want to get one and and I, and I just went and i looked at i don't know how many languages there were there were piles i'm sure it was only just english and japanese but i grabbed one copy um from the english file and um <laughs> And then I go, and he's like, ah, and he just picks one of the Japanese one and pushes it into my hands. And, and I'm like, um, oh, that's okay, that's okay. Like, I'm thinking in my head, you know, like other people might need it. I don't really need it. Even if I have it in the house, it's not gonna um, be touched by anybody. That's for sure, 1,100% sure. That's how sure I am, nobody's gonna touch it in the house. Um, and so I explain, you know, like uh, at home, we learn the gospel of Jesus Christ in English. We speak in English in, in our house. Um, you know, father can talk to his children how he wants in Japanese. Doesn't bother me. But um, when we talk about stuff about church and about the gospel, it's in English. So I need the English one because I can read it. The kids probably can read some of it too. And we discuss things in English. And uh, so I passed. A few seconds later, I'm talking to somebody else in the hallway, and my oldest comes with um, with um, the manual in Japanese, handing hand it to me. He's like, you know, you know how guys are. They don't want to hold things that are not theirs and none, none of their business. So he's giving me to giving it to me, even though I have like you know bags and baby bags and whatever holding on to. And I'm like, why are you giving me that? I don't really need it. I just got the, the English one. I'm like, well, grandpa gave it to me. And I was like, I just explained to him that I don't need it. And we don't use it in our house. Um, but hey, doesn't make any sense, right? Because I'm in Japan, I should have one in Japanese, right? But so that that little incident just made me think of how... So imagine if that's the father, imagine what's the son like. So, so, you know, it gives me an idea of what kind of environment and circumstances and whatnot the father of my children has been growing up in and, and um, what kind of attitude he has in the, within the family unit as well. And so, yeah, it, it makes a whole lot more sense right now. And so it makes me think of, you know, what kind of things and traits and constraints I have been grow growing up with um, so I can um, get rid of that and um, let go of it and find it the real me because um, this kind of attitude um, doesn't bring any success into a family. I, I, I can guarantee that it's um, you put the self, you put the ego first and boom, that's the end of it.
slowly, brick by brick, falling down, falling down. So um, people trying to make points, even though disregard my words and my opinion and do whatever they are saying and whatever they think is the right thing anyways, it's, um, it's human, it's very human, but it could be very annoying as well. And so I just wanted to say that little thing, get it out of my head.